it was three dollars of cost in something like 15 minutes. On the one hand, you could say that's high. On the other hand, I think it's actually remarkably low still if you think about the work that it's doing and the cost of engineering and software time. So it comes back to this software budget versus labor budget question that I think the industry is shifting towards. This is something I wonder a lot about is what's the right comp for this? One way to think about the cost is the comp is like a $20 or $40 co-pilot subscription, and that's the benchmark. The other way is kind of engineer salary is the benchmark. I actually think it's neither of these. Because we're at the point where quad code can do the work of like many engineers when you multi-quad. So it's actually not even about one engineer's time. It's hard to put a number on this because it's just such a big multiplier. I think in the past when people used various coding assistants, you saw it was maybe like a 30% improvement on productivity or 20% improvement or something like this. And back when I worked in big tech, this is something that we looked at a lot and we ran a lot of internal studies to try to put a specific number on it. And I think now with quad code, the multiple is already, you know, it's several times an engineer productivity. It's no longer 30%. And this number is just going to keep going up. So, you know, when we're at the point where quad code can make one engineer able to do the work of 10 engineers, your only bottleneck is ideas. And so all the engineers on your team are just like incredibly productive and can just crank out code super fast and just make stuff happen super fast. What is the value of that? I'm not sure, but this is something that we're thinking about.